see ICM gave us a mountain of knowledge. I'm really proud of our achievement. We have that more knowledge that we've picked up through it to know that you're doing a good job. That was my first ever job, I was 16. Um, I took a break off to college. I tried college and didn't enjoy it. I wanted to go out and work. And my mum didn't really force me at the time to get a job. She said I could have a break. But my friend was handing out her CVs and we went down and I thought I might as well take some just in case. And I ended up landing a job. It was the first one I applied for. And I went to work for the Halifax doing mortgage collections. And uh, yeah, it just went from there. Literally snowballed from there. <laughs> No CV printouts for me, um, but yeah, I'd left sixth form, didn't really know what I wanted to do. Vacancy was coming up at a company near where I, I live and they called me in and they were like, do you know what credit control is? And I said, nope, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> And yeah, ever since then, that's what I've been doing. Um, so we're a luxury brand that specialises in skin and makeup, uh, skincare and makeup predominantly. Uh, we're quite a small credit team. There's six of us in total. I'm the credit manager of the team. Uh, we're quite a new and not very well established team. I think the longest member of our staff, two years, two plus, just under three years. We, most of us were recruited during um, lockdown. So yeah, it was really strange because for the first like six months, I think, we hadn't even met each other. We had silly things didn't we look at the start like we'd have quiz nights or um, like virtual pub nights where we'd you know finish a little bit early on a friday grab a beer and have a chat lots and lots of teams meetings and just general chit chat happening over teams to try and get everyone bonded that's my biggest memory is a lot of teams meetings and a lot of training over teams yeah which was difficult trying to learn our complicated systems on teams was not easy this is my first management role so my previous manager thought it would be a great idea to kind of establish me as a credit manager for a start but then because we were such a new team it was kind of getting us all working together, making sure that we're all doing everything as we should be, following the best practice guidelines and just generally getting there. I think because we were such a new team, it was a great opportunity to mould us into a way that was good from the start, rather than picking up bad habits and, and doing things half-heartedly. So yeah, it was a, definitely that's what was in, or that's why it was inspired. So I've been with the CICM for a few years now. I've got my level three and level five CICM qualifications. Um, I know Luke had shown an interest in doing his level three. Deb, I didn't know about the accreditation until my manager set it as an objective. I'd never heard of it. And I think I was a little bit naive at the start of how, what it would entail and how much work was going to have to be put into it. The, the original form that you guys send out where we have to like benchmark ourselves against all the criteria, I thought it was just a case of complete this Excel document, send it back and we're done. <laughs> little did I know <laughs> that a year later we'd be finally finishing it. Karen came back and gave me some really good advice and was like, oh, I don't, don't if you really understand what you need to do so she went through everything with me like line by line all the expectations what kind of things you were looking for which was a massive help uh, and then we had to go off and kind of evaluate what we did have and what we didn't have in place already Docu like documented processes things like that because we had a big restructure before we were formed as a team there was a lot of our handovers were done like Chinese whisper style you know there was no actual documented processes there was no training matrix there was no roadmaps we didn't have a local credit policy. We didn't have, um, our reporting structure was, it did the job, but it was clunky. Um, figures weren't being shared. It was a um, an eye opener. We had to change everything. So it's, <laughs> but I think a big thing that, certainly that helps me in my job is the local credit policy because it now forms part of all of our inductions. So sales have got no excuse. They've all heard of credit control now. They all have our credit policy. <laughs> to be fair, our sales team are really good anyway, but it gives me a document and they have guidelines. They know who, who deals with what and what our limits are and things like that. So having that to, we didn't really have anything to hand out for an induction prior to that. And just from the offset, getting those people credit minded is a good thing. Uh, we now have really clear guidance and procedures. Um, like for example, our authorization matrix. So we all know who can approve things now. It has actually documented. Communication was a big one for us. So just getting our name out there as a team, we, we now shout a lot more about our successes. And it was Karen that said, you know, this is what you should be doing this. You should be getting your name out there. And now that we're quite a respected department. I think at first we didn't quite have the respect because our handovers were a bit shaky and 
we were learning as we were going really we didn't have that in office chat because we were all remote and we were just kind of making a lot of mistakes at the start and and learning the hard way so yeah just being able to get back in the office for a start was uh, was handy but silly things like reporting and dso the team are now aware of how their job affects dso or the big numbers that finance are interested in we talk about them a lot more um we get excited at the end of the month and we put little bets on you know what do you think it's going to be this month how do you think we've done and i think it's just created this like camaraderie and just general excitement around the end of month process now rather than it being a bit of a chore and nobody really understanding you know we know we've got to do it but we're not sure what or why yeah definitely i'd agree with that as well i think there's much more of like a togetherness like as a team all sort of get excited like terry mentioned towards the end of the month to find out what the figures are going to be and because beforehand we the numbers would be sort of mentioned sort of in passing at the end of the month but it was just sort of known that it didn't really mean anything to us <laughs> at the time whereas now we have that more knowledge that we've picked up through it and it's just something that we sort of look forward to now and it's properly discussed and we compare it now back to what it was like in previous years so we can see what we're doing differently and you know like we're just taking a bit more pride now going into it than what we used to and also like terry mentioned as well the i think the relationships with other teams has really picked up even when we first started to do it other teams would come up to us and sort of question it, like what we were doing and they were just taking a massive interest in it because I think it's something where we were a newer team. Uh, I think they just didn't really know what the credit control so much entailed. So when they found out we were going for this award, just took massive interest in it. Yeah, and then from their relationship started building and I think that, yeah, everything sort of improved in that regard. Um, I think now the whole team have just got this kind of buzz around figures and what we can do to improve it rather than one gigantic like oh my god look at all of this amazing stuff you know it all happened at once it's been taking what we've learned rolling with it and then gradually now we're starting to see like lots of little benefits lots of benefits but like smaller benefits that have made a big change rather than yeah we knew there wasn't just going to be a moment where it was like we're perfect now you know there's always stuff to work on but, and, and there still is, and we are still improving, but it was lots of little things that made a big improvement. Yeah, we're lucky because it was a really good opportunity to mould our team how we wanted it to work. But obviously we have basic procedures that we have to follow, but it was, okay, this is what we need to achieve. How can we as a team get there comfortably in a way, you know, that we can have, not fun with it, but you know, we can do it the way that we want to gain confidence in what we're doing. And I think, I think the confidence in the team now, in themselves as a team, across the business, like we're quite a respected department. With the sales team, we have brilliant relationships now. And I think everybody just gained confidence from it. You've gained loads of confidence just knowing. It's a bit more belief that actually, you know what, we're a brilliant department and we've got that acknowledgement. Knowing that we don't have to go through such a traumatic experience when it comes up for renewal is gonna be amazing. It has given us like um, benchmarks to work towards, which is good because, you know, we don't hit the the top benchmark for everything there is room for improvement so it gives us a goal to work towards for the next one we've learned a lot from it as a team you know we're a lot more competent and a lot we have much better working relationships which obviously benefits clarence because we're, we're just the dream team it's awesome a uh, much greater understanding of what is expected and how our tiny little function in the business world affects the wider organization our figures are better our attitudes better motivations at an all-time high yeah so it's just um it's been rewarding Definitely. I think we touched a little bit on it, but as a new team, it really did help us gel, helped everyone understand their individual roles a lot better, but also work more together. The communication, fantastic. I would say for a stagnant team or someone that's, you know, a team that's really, really well established and doing things the way they always have been done. It's a really good opportunity to self-reflect and as a, a team reflect and just look for ways to improve. There is always, always ways to improve. And the CICM gave us a mountain of knowledge for improvement. <laughs> and I think we've had a lot of positivity come from it. Uh, it gave me a lot of confidence as a new manager, just to know that actually what I'm doing is right. Or, you know, if I'm unsure about something, I also now have a little network of people like Clar um, Karen, um that i can lean on and just say you know can you share an example of this with me because i'm not sure what it is or um i know during the cicmq there was a couple of documents that i had to create and i didn't really understand the concept um so we've got the best practice network now that we can rely on 
at the CICM and we've got other people other companies that are, have been through the accreditation that are always willing to help they're a lovely bunch of really I'm really proud of our achievement it inspired Luke to do a CICM level three and I'm a big advocate of the CICM qualifications so that was a, a, a really big positive to come out of it as well because it's always nice to hear from your manager and stuff to know that you're doing a good job external people to come in and just confirm that is it just feels really rewarding as well and it does give you a massive confidence boost it's a real game changer because you know that you're doing everything the right way the higher ups as well in the company would gain confidence knowing that their credit team are doing everything the right way in order to be given this accreditation so i think if you're a bit unsure about it then it just completely makes sense to do it